everyone and welcome to a new Let's Play series, PFNL Ranch Rescue. This is a horse game and it is a little old, I'm not sure if it's from 2008 or further back, but it has some beautiful graphics in nature and all of that. Um, as you can see in the name, we need to rescue a ranch which has some problems. And we're gonna have some fun with this game. So we just hit spacebar and get into it. Warning! The aim of this software is not to provide veterinary. <laughs> yeah, I need to check that out. How to pronounce things. Veterinary or horse care advice. You shall not use the information contained in the game as basis for actual care of a horse or foal. Okay, here we can choose new adventure, load the game, options, and exit the game. But we're gonna start a new adventure, of course. Select the slot for the save game. But you can also choose to play without saving. What's your mare's, mare's name? Hmm, yeah, what would be for a mare's name? I'm not good in names, so we call it Angel to do the easy. Oops, that was a wrong title. There we go. And do we click enter? Yes, we do. Angel, is this name okay? No, and yes. Loading screen. Background noise. Fire! Huh? What? <laughs> Where? Where? Come on, come give me a hand. The horses would rather you take care of them. Okay, uh, okay, I'll be right there. Yeah, but I think we should go to the stable and we use the arrow keys to move. Pretty much easy. Can we use? No, we cannot use W A or S A B. Press space or enter to object. Take an easy current object in this zone. Okay. And we have a compass down on left side. Okay. Is sure where to go? Yeah, I know. It's pretty easy to see. Okay. Let me just go to the stable and click. Ah, there you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, Uncle Dylan. Dylan, Dylan. I was so tired yesterday that I fell asleep on the couch. Oh, really? Are you sure you didn't go for a ride on Angel and not notice the time passing so quickly? It's true. You know me too well. I couldn't resist. Oh, that was too high. Okay, but come home earlier in the future. I get bored, you know? <clears throat> Don't worry, and anyway, I wasn't alone. I had Angel with me. I suppose that's true. Which reminds me, I wanted to go back over the techniques for stirring your horse today. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I think I know how to stir a horse, but of course we need to learn over again. Have Angel to take a few steps. Space bar to get further. And we press up. 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 And right. Arrow keys, of course. Oh, come on. Keep going. And press left. And down to brake. Up. And shift to brake quickly. Captain and manage. Whoa! Up. Go to the door to complete the tutorial. This door to exit. So, okay, thank you. You are getting on very well. The best way to get close to a horse is to break it in. Bre what? <laughs> Breaking in a horse is the first step involved in training it. Doing this will strengthen your bond with Angel. There are several ways to break in a horse. Personal 
personally, personally, yeah, I only believe in one. The, the inventor of this method was a great horse riding champion. You know, the man I have already spoken to you about. Great! That's him. He completely, completely revolutionized the way we communicate with horses. I have enormous respect for him. So I noticed. You never stop talking about him. In my opinion, he's still the greatest horse riding champion ever. But let's, but let's get back to today. <laughs> but let's get back to today's exercise: building trust. On the stables board, you will find information about each horse, including its name, breed, skills, and if it is been broken in or not. It's important to check the info on your horse as you train it. By looking at Angel's pile, we can see that she has that she hasn't been broken in yet. Oh, I pressed too hard on that. Be smart. Now let's go and see Angel. She is waiting for us in her box. To access Angel box, <laughs> to access Angel's box, use the stable board. Okay then, object to break an angel. Here we go. This is the stable board. Pretty easy to see. It's not any other boards here. And we press spacebar. And here we have angel. Pretty cute horse. And we press spacebar to choose the box she's in. And we then choose breaking in. Select the workshop. Build and trust easy. Will this be harder? Then this is going to be pretty interesting. Building trust. Memorize the order in which the horse's sensi sensitive areas appear. Pet the areas in order they appear. Okay. To pet an area, move your hand using the mouse. Then hold down the left mouse button. You must completely empty the stress gauge before the time runs out. Okay. Enter. Yes. The aim of this workshop is to show the horse that it can trust you. Pet the sensitive parts of its flank in the order that they appear. Okay. Use the mouse to move your hand. Okay. Press the left mouse button to pet. Okay. Oh. It is the time limit on it? Yeah, actually. Okay. Okay, here's my hand. This was first. The second. This was the last one. Yay! We got it right. On your pet angel like you are supposed to, you can see her stress level falling. Yes, I see. Tree is pretty easy to remember. We have 3 minutes and 43 seconds, so I think we have enough time for this. Okay, this was, this was first, right? Yeah, let me do that again. Yeah, this was the last one. Yeah, and we made it. Congratulations, you have built up trust with Angel. You can now take this horse off the ranch with you. Yay! You need to explore a little around or out side of the ranch or something. Well done! I can tell you are going to get on great together. Or something. It is true that she looks calmer. That is... that's a very effective technique. You are beginning to understand why I admire Grant. Now we need to look after Angel to make her feel better. I will show you what you have to do. Ooh. There are four aspects to look after your horse. Brushing it, washing it, ping, who, picking out its hooves and cleaning out its box. <laughs> you must perform these tasks as regularly as possible. A horse that is well cared for, for will be more likely to do as you ask. 
Do you mean that Angel won't listen to me if I don't look after her? Absolutely! If you don't take care of her, Angel's moral will be low and you will have problems training her. But you will see, looking after a horse is great fun! Don't forget, always give your horse the respect and care it needs to remain in good health. This is important, do you understand? Yes, Uncle Dylan, I understand. You know, you have to take care of the horse. Oh, my camera just... Nope. Just move around. But this was all we have time for in this episode. In the next episode, <laughs> we will take care of Angel by brushing it, washing it, picking out of its hooves. It was an interesting sentence there. And all of that, and maybe have time for taking a ride outside the ranch. So leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I see you in the next episode. Bye!